I knew about the Hebrews, but then I didn't know that it was camps. I didn't know it was all this. So then I started seeing ISUPK. I started seeing um uh Brother Shaw and um what's his name? Um Zabak, I believe. He used to always be in Times Square bombing. So it was just so many different schools of thought that I didn't have to subscribe to anybody. I was just could just extract information from everybody because everybody was dropping it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was dropping it. So I was like, yo, hold on. So if I take a little bit of this, take a little bit of that, put this in right here. Of course, Professor Griff, you know what I'm saying? It, but like I said, I don't want to uh, uh, start really naming names because then I'm going to start forgetting people. But, you know, it was a lot of people. Then we started seeing young men, like, like, like young men, like, oh, then we seen young Pharaoh come. And then we seen um, uh, little brother Marcus. And then we just started seeing, uh, and then, and then. Later on, we started seeing like Brother Polite and different people. So it was like, yo, hold up. As a people, we got all this information. Then, I, then we seen Umar Johnson. And so it's like, yo, now we lit because we got irritated genie. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, we lit because look at all the information we got. We cannot lose. So what changed everything to me, in my opinion, my opinion is when it turned into when the debate started, the debates was healthy in the beginning. But if you go back to Dr. Clark and you go back to uh, Dr. Ben, they used to debate the enemies and, and, and debate them and tell them even Dr. Khalid Muhammad, um, Malcolm X, they used to debate the enemies. They used to be like, yo, nah, this is ours and y'all this, that, and the third. They used to debate them. And I thought that was dope. I feel like once we started debating one another, once we started debating one another, that's when the problem came. I never had an issue with people debating. I never had an issue with people saying, who has the plan for our people moving forward? So I remember seeing a dope debate between our brother Polite and Malik Zulu Shabazz. I was like, yo, that's just dope. I remember just seeing different debates because I was into it. The debates changed when it started being disrespectful. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha HaKwadash, and double honors to the elder elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to you other brethren, you few sisters and you followers of the truth. And mainly, let me say shalom to the elect, because that's what it's all about. Uh, anyway, I want to go on this video here that I ran across. Um, this brother here from... Uh, doggy diamonds tv um you can check out his video sometime and i look at it and he what he does is he takes information he takes um different scholars and you know in a conscious community and in a community in general and he analyzes it and he does videos on it and um he makes some pretty good points but what we teach and what we believe is different than just um, cause what what's happening is when you get a whole bunch of conscious people in the um, community, and uh, IHBK have joined themselves, which have brought the Israelites into the so-called conscious community, and you see, if it ain't of the Lord, it goes nowhere. And then you have to understand too, while this conscious community is going on, so-called conscious, um, they are set up. A lot of the conscious community is funded, right? Because they are their job is to keep you in a particular place. And this is why I said Netta, they will have, you know, this group, that group. You know, they'll have all kinds of Minister Inky and Brother Pooh and um, various other people. And now they've joined Vocab Malone to the team. So you see where this goes, and this is why we kind of stay out of it. And I'll say it, Great Millstone Israelites, we kind of stay out of those kind of debates and don't involve ourselves in that. And I believe IUIC, they, they don't either. But um, most Israelite groups don't get involved in those debates. But us mainly, and I'm speaking for us, because we don't get involved. Why? Because it's not going to do anything. What the Lord did is created all these doctrines because he only wanted his elect in the first place. Now, there's many scriptures that I can get on this topic, but I'll just get a few and then continue with the commentary as I go. 
through the Spirit, 2 Timothy 2 and 14, of these things put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord, that they strive not about words to no profit, but to subvert, uh, but to the subverting of the hearers. So our job, you know, if it wasn't for the black conscious community, if it wasn't for the Egyptologists, if it wasn't for the Nuwapians, if it wasn't for all these people, and we the only ones had the truth, right, of being Israelites, and that's the only place people could go, then we would have to deal with a whole lot of hell, a whole lot of crazy people, you know, coming into the doctrine. Can you, you can imagine some of these type of people, I'll say that, keep it clean, some of these type of people that uh, that are in these doctrines that says the black woman is God, men are, men is, um, the man, the so-called male, the male, is a, a recessive gene or whatever, and a woman is the God gene. You know, you know, you hear all these things, and these these conscious communities. So I don't know how they're conscious. And another thing that they don't do, they don't never go at the enemy. That's what Doggy Diamonds was talking about. You know, going back to even Abba Bivens, um, going back to One West, Old One West. And even to the, uh, my teachers now, um, the apostles of Great Millstone, and even us now, we've in our in time have went at the enemy. What you notice is, but these guys, they come up with all these quick fixes and so-called solutions. But you can learn things out of some of the things they go into with health and certain things. But it's never the answer for what our people actually need. They don't go now, and and Doggy Diamonds is right on that because now. The debates have become self-hatred and, and turned that way as well. Now, we love our brothers, right? And we show love to other Israelites by correcting them, okay? The Lord said he'll choose, choose the foolish thing to confound the wise. So all these black conscious gurus, they're not going to confound the wise. The elect will. Um, let's go to... Um, let me go to Titus 3 and 10. A man that is an heretic after the first and second admonishment reject. So this is why Captain Tazar, and a heretic goes back to being um, someone who's a, a separatist, so to speak. Who's, who's just not about the truth. You know, a jokester and want to want to keep the party going, but he doesn't even really care about the truth. He's really against the truth. So they go up there and they sit on the couch and they talk to Sarnetta and it's about uplifting people. And you remember, you can always use a scripture to do whatever will of wickedness that you want because the Most High set it up like that too. This is why the scriptures was broken down the way they were is in the English language from the Hebrew to Greek, right? And uh, various other forms of, of language just to bring the confusion. The Latin right this world was we're a gentile okay so we can clearly see that um so why is this captain Tazariak of there debating these guys if they was in there to hopes the scriptures always say always give um be ready to give an answer for for every man that calleth for a reason of hope so said so that is not calling for a reason of hope but let's say he is every time saying that asks him a tough question he doesn't want to answer it he rarely answers it. Then him and uh, Polite, they're battling and beefing uh, and arguing. And, and then uh, Captain Azariak's information got exposed by his wife and all kinds of craziness. So I agree with that. Now that it's not even a, uh, uh, to come against this man in his system, which it never technically was. But at least to some degree, they were telling you who the enemy was. Dr. Khalid Muhammad and Malcolm X and various others. But no, not these guys. These guys want to argue about the weirdest and craziest things. And then now vocab has come in to try to neutralize the Hebrews. This is why I believe it's all set up, man. Uh, 1 Corinthians 10 to 21. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and the table of devils. So you can't be up there with, um, I, you know, I should be K. They're up there with these um, conscious guys that, that's got every doctrine under the sun. 
You're supposed to not have no fellowship with these people. And if you thought that you can wake them up, then you're supposed to reject if they're not going to get it. Right? Romans 129, being filled with, well, let me see. Um, it says, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers. Right? So, this is what these guys do. Okay, that uh, that's G twenty fifty four, G twenty fifty four debate, basically mean a separation, contention, strife, wrangling, a quarrel. It's just confusing, and it just keeps you distracted. And that's all entertainment means when you look it up. It just simply means a distraction. You know, that's all it pretty much is. And this is why we don't um, don't get into these debates. Okay, let me read this. I believe I read it before, but I'll read it again. First Corinthians 1 and 20. If I haven't, then where's the wise? Where's the scribe? Where's the disputer of this world? Right? So where's the disputers of this world? They go out there and yell. I like, give it to all the Israelite groups. They go out there and yell and they get on this man in his system. But yet, IHBK has managed to say, okay, everybody line up and accept uh, what is put out. This was IHPK has done. So these, this is what you call a hireling and hypocrites. Okay, have not Yahweh made the foolish, uh, the wisdom? Has not Yahweh made foolish the wisdom of this world? Right. So we're considered the foolish. We got the worst doctrine, so to speak. We're the foolish. They call us everything under the bus. And every time GMS come up, those rapists, those rapists. Of, of 11 12 year olds N no have we ever taught that and no one have we ever done that and if somebody ever have got the idea to do that then they would be kicked out but you put it all on us and here we go with doggy diamonds is talking about but yet the arab countries the african countries they all had that relevancy or that um type of um tradition so to speak but you don't see the black conscience or any other israelite groups getting on them about it and they actually do it. They actually believe in it. We don't believe in that. Right? Everything is accounted for with the earth with cycles. Right? That's why we're, we're one. With, you know, you're supposed to be so-called one with the universe, so to speak. You knew when a woman had a period, she knew. That's why it was called a period. It was no specific time, but it was a period of time. That's why the word month means moon. So every month or, or moon she would have her cycle and that's why they call it the cycle just like the uh, moon cycle the phases right yeah you, you know we go on the, the new moon well how do you know what day of the week it was if you didn't know what uh how did you know when the sabbath was how did you know when uh how holy days was how did you know anything if you didn't have know what, the, know what the first day of the week was you had to go off the um celestial cycles Right. But this is the stuff that we will not try to bash into your heads. It's either you're going to get it and we're going to teach or you're not. It's just that simple. And then we do our own research and we we see that this is to be true. A lot of people think that we just blindly follow men. And if you're doing that, you have to trust. Um, you know, when the scripture says don't trust in man, curse be the man, trust in man. You're not supposed to trust in a man who's not spiritual. And even if this man is spiritual, if it's something that he may say that doesn't seem to be spiritual, you got to pray about it. But you got to know in our walk that these men that's been doing this truth is not going to lead you astray. Because it's all about doctrine. Now, if one of them say, hey, go jump off the roof and do a somersault and land on your back. Well, of course, you're trusting in the man at that point. Anyway, I just wanted to touch on that. This is why these debates don't work. They're um, they're just useless. And all that's going to happen is at the end of the day, you might get a two or three conversions, but at the end of the day, they're all going to go back to what they believe and what they solely thrive for. Anyway, that's all I have on that, Shalom.